Do you want to play on potato graphics? In this video, I'll be revealing my secret on how to get the perfect potato graphics settings. After these settings you will get smooth gaming experience without out all the glitches you may have experienced. These settings will help you to fix low graphics. So before getting into video, subscribe my channel, let's go. Download NVIDIA Profile Inspector from description and open it. On the top, you should see a little search bar. Type in Fortnite but don't spell it all the way click on it as soon as it appears. Once you are on the Fortnite tab, scroll down to where it says off multi-sampling. Click on it and hit the down arrow on the right side, then look for a mode that says AA mode replay mode all and select that. Scroll down a bit further and find two numbers that say 0.0. .0. On the right hand side, click the down arrow and open up the menu. When you're on LOD BIOS DDX, hit the number 3. Do the same thing for LOD BIOS OGLE, and after that, hit apply changes on the top right. Now go to your Fortnite settings and ensure your rendering mode is set to DirectX 12. If not, restart your game and go back to your settings. Once here, copy the graphic settings exactly, ensure Vsync is off and turn everything to the lowest setting. Then, scroll down and turn on NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, setting it to on plus boost. Once that's done, scroll back up and turn on Nanite Virtualized Geometry. This will smooth out the ground and fix any bugs. Once these steps are complete, your game should feel much smoother. Here we got our free Gear Up Booster FPS Boost. So double tap here and now here you will find that. Copy and search this link in the browser. You have to simply copy this link from here and open any browser. Paste the link, search, and download the Gear Up Booster on your PC. Next, here you will find out extra 15 days free trial using this coupon code. So, guys, one of the luckiest person can claim this code for free 15 days. Here you will find this kind of interface. So now, you need to go for your Fortnite or whatever game in which you want to optimize your ping. You can go to the Games tab, and here you will find thousands of games. So, you need to go to your Home tab, and you will find the installed game automatically. Now click on this boost button, and guys, this will start optimizing the network for you with the best routing. So, guys, once you are connected with the Gear Up Booster, here you will find out this kind of region and node. This will automatically find everything for you. You do not have to change anything from here. So, guys, click on this Launch Game button and make sure to launch your game after launching the gear booster. This ultra low graphics settings works for Intel and AMD. And NVIDIA users can try these settings as well, as it may provide extra performance or boost FPS in Fortnite. First, open the designated folder and locate the game user settings file. These Fortnite settings will enable potato graphics, ultra low data graphics, or ultra graphics for your Intel and AMD GPU. Right click and copy this file. Next, press the Windows key and are on your keyboard simultaneously to open the run dialog box. In the box, type local aptida and press enter. Click OK, then navigate to the Fortnite game folder, followed by saved, config, and Windows client. Here, you'll find your Fortnite game user settings file. Right click, select paste, and then choose replace the file in the destination to apply the changes. Head down here and search game mode settings. Once you're on here, go to the game bar this has to be turned off, same with the captures, both of these turned off. Also, game mode you will have to let me know in the comments about this, as some of you may not be sure. When game mode is on, Windows optimizes your PC for play, not for all PCs, boys. If you have a good PC, you can turn this on, but if you have an older PC, not so great PC, turn this off. For example, a Ryzen 3 or a Ryzen 5 I'd turn this off. If you have a Ryzen 7 or 9, turn this on. If you're not sure or have an Intel CPU, leave it down in the comments. I'll get back to all of you about this one. This is quite a confusing one. If you're not sure and you don't want to comment, literally turn this off, restart your PC, go on to Fortnite, go into Creative, see how your lag is, then turn it on, restart again, go on to Fortnite and see which one you prefer. But genuinely, most people have this on, and it's not too great for your PC. One other thing that I want you to do, quite a basic tweak go on to Task Manager, head over to services what you want to do is scroll all the way down boys xbox off manager xbox game save xbox gypsy vc xbox net what you want to do is disable these three obviously for me i do not use the xbox control panel and for most of you watching this video you should not be using this as well if you're using xbox game bar to clip stuff 
boys. You need to be turning that off. I will get into it in just one second. But first thing you need to do is right click over it and just press stop. That's all you need to do on all four of them. Once you do this, you'll have to restart at the end of this video that's completely fine. But that means these won't be running in the background. Each one of these uses about 5 to 10 processors. So imagine this 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 minus 40 processors right there. I really would recommend turning this off. Now go to NVIDIA Control Panel Settings and Manage 3D Settings and Global Settings. Now follow these settings. Now hit apply. Now in last guys go again in task manager and go in startup tab. After that you feel that your game runs smoothly and you will not face lag and stutters in game. After that you feel that your game runs smoothly and you will not face lag and stutters in game. That was today's video guys. I hope you like this. Feel free to ask any question in comment. I will give you answer as soon as possible. Make sure to subscribe. Peace out.